my friends today we are going to do the unboxing of a uh, spare so now uh, my bike has come for an oil change so now let's see what is in the box i have ordered it online and uh, we need to do a oil change so i need to change the filter also as well so now we are going to do the unboxing of it and see what i have ordered so this is the packing stuff and here it is the filter k and n filter so now this is the filter and now let's see what we have in it so this is the performance k and n filter so the thing is like you need to know the correct number for your bike so the number here is 303 so for the kawasaki ninja it is for the 303 as well as uh, for all other ninjas also so there is a 204 and uh, the other numbers also come here so before you make an order you may you need to make sure that this filter is for your bike so you need to go through their website or you need to see the reviews and find out that what filter fits your bike the number is very important so now let's fit it in the bike and uh, see actually this filter increases the performance from the stock filter that's what they say so let's uh, i'll do a review later regarding the performance of the bike later now let's fill, uh, fit in the filter Now we are going to change the oil, uh, oil filter and oil, engine oil. Now we are going to remove the oil cap. So that is the oil cap, we have to remove it. We have to make, allow the bike to cool down. And with the cloth, gently remove it. So make sure that you don't uh, break the oil cap. The oil cap and the oil ring is being removed. O-ring. O-ring is being removed to drain the oil. We have to remove the oil cap in order to drain the oil from the oil filter below. If not, a vacuum will be created and the oil will not drain. So the oil cap has to be removed. Make sure that the engine is cooled down properly and then remove the oil cap, the oil filter and drain the oil. Now the fairings are being removed, the fairings are removed and now we are removing the drain bolt. Drain bolt. The drain bolt is being removed. That is the bolt that is being removed. Uh, it should be handled very carefully in order to drain the oil. See the oil is being removed. Drain. You can see how the oil is being uh, used. The oil, uh, the oil has, be, has to be changed in for every 8,000 to 10,000 kilometers. You can see the color of the oil and the consistency. This is the right time to drain it and change the oil. If you use a good quality oil, then you can delay the change of oil. If you use a low quality oil, then it has to be frequently changed. A fully synthetic oil has to be used for the proper maintenance of the bike. Kawasaki stock oil. Now we are removing the Kawasaki stock oil filter. Hmm. So every care should be taken in to remove the parts and not to break it. So Mr. Siva here is doing an excellent job. So you know we are going to replace the stock Kawasaki oil filter with the new KNN performance filter. So gently we have to remove the filter. So the oil is going to drain from that part also. So every care should be taken to gently remove it. And now you can see how the oil is being the seepage, the, the drain of the oil. See, so we have to now. It's time to change the filter. So for uh, for every 8,000 to 10,000 kilometers, the oil filter has to be changed. 
now we are going to install the K and M filter. So now, now you can see the difference, the K and M, the performance filter and the Kawasaki stock filter. So the K and filter number is 303. So as you can see 303 for Kawasaki vehicles, Ninja vehicles. So before when you buy the filter, make sure what fits your bike. Uh, they seem to filter on. Yeah. So the, the, and then it's written as performance. The performance here means that there will be quick transfer of oil as well as the filtering process will be very quick when compared to the stock. So you get a better performance of the vehicle. Uh, usually the performance uh, oil filter denotes that uh, the filtering and the passage of oil is going to be in a smooth and quick manner. Uh, it doesn't mean that the bike is going to go very fast. But the overall performance in the sense, the feel and the maintenance of the bike is going to get improved. You have to make sure that the oil is completely drained from the bolt over here as well as the filter part as you, as you can see. So the oil has to be completely drained. Now you can see that this is the level oil level indicator on the right side of the cam so it is, the oil has been completely drained so once we fill the oil the indicator is going to move up you can see the level of the oil now there is no oil at all so the oil has been completely drained uh, you can see the transparent uh, part of it so this was the stock oil uh, 7 40 700 w 20 w 50 40 7, uh, 7, the 20W50 was the oil that was drained. So this is the this is the stock oil that was drained. Now we are going to new, uh, use a performance racing oil. So now uh, we have used the liquid Molly engine flush oil, engine flush shooter, as you can see. So in order to uh, flush the oil outside completely, uh, you open the cap, the oil cap and then you pour the liquid molly uh, engine flush and uh, you rev the uh, you uh, start the bike for 10 minutes in idle and then you remove the oil cap and the uh, oil filter so all the oil is getting drained so it means that you are flushing away all the residual oil so this has to be done in for every oil change now we are going to change uh, the engine oil so the oil we are going to use is Mortal, Mortal 10W40. So W indicates the temperature and the 10 and 40 indicates the consistency and the technical part of it. So it is a ester core synthetic oil. So this is the oil we are going to use around 4 liters. So now what we are going to do is uh, we are uh, going to put, uh, we are going to replace the filter, the K and as I said, the 303. 303 is the number that is being uh, projected as you can see the 303 so for the specific for this bike so the 303 KN and KN filter now we are going to put in the oil oil cap uh, bolt and washer the washer and aluminum, the aluminum washer. washer and the screw now we have to close this part so this is the uh, this is from where we drained the oil Being filled, tighten. Okay. Okay. Now we are going to uh, soak the oil filter with the oil. We are going to remove the oil cap. See, as you can see, uh, see you can see the protective la layer of, of uh, tunnel. A plastic tunnel has been placed inside the oil can to facilitate the easy flow of oil. So now you are taking the filter, removing the cap, the, the cover, the oil filter cover is being removed and we are soaking the oil filter with oil in order to facilitate lubrication. So as you can see this process has to be done before fixing the 
filter. The, the oil has to be spread evenly around the edge. So the filter has to be completely lubricated along the side edges, or at the, along the rims because uh, when fixing it to the O-ring, uh, there, the, there is possible damage is possible. So in order to avoid damage and leakage, it has to be lubricated. In, in, in another sense, uh, the, the hard edges should not come in contact. Now we are now we are cleaning the O-ring. Uh, clean cloth should be used in order to clean the O-ring. As you can see, that has to be cleaned properly. It has to be cleaned properly. Well, this is the part where we are going to place the filter. As you can see, there are hard edges come into contact. So in order to avoid the hard edges. We have lubricated the oil filter as as seen previously. Now the filter is being placed with the oil inside. So it is a very tedious process. As you can see, there is a little bit spillage of oil. No, there is nothing to mind about it. And uh, it has to be completely as we, uh, since we have uh, lubricated the edges, there is smooth uh, fixing of the filter to to, its, to the o-ring. And all the spanner is being used to tighten it. Spanner is being tightened. That the, the particular uh, torque has to be maintained. If not, uh, the bolt will come loose. Now, this is the oil can from where we fill the oil with the filter. So, the same can has to be used in order to make count of how many liters we have used. So, now we are going to use the same can that was opened. So this is the can from there we filled around 100 to 200 ml of oil into the oil filter. So now this is the, the we are going to fill it. So, so the funnel is being placed and uh, the same the, the first opened can is being filled. So in order to make sure that uh, we know the quantity of oil that we have drained into the bike. So now this is the second can, the first can was drained, we have filled the, we have emptied the first can, now this is the second can, so one liter is up, now this is the second liter, so around four liters of oil. Now this is the third liter, third can, third liter going in. As you can see, we have drained in 3 liters, but still the, uh, the indicator is not functioning because we need to fill in one more liter for the indicator level to show up. Now, this is the fourth liter, the fourth can. So, four liters going in, and now we will focus on the indicator, oil level indicator. Now, it has to pop up to make sure that the oil level is coming up. Uh, as you can see, now you can see the oil level is showing up after when we are going and reporting in the fourth liter. So this has to be checked regularly. So as you can see the oil is filling, the indicator is being filled with oil. So the fourth liter is going in and the indicator is as you can see, as you can see there are two marks over here. And the, this is the low mark and that is the high mark. The high mark is over here and the low mark. So the indicator has moved from the low to the high. So the level is in the high. So this has to be checked. So now we have filled the oil uh, around uh, 3.7 liters. Still 300 uh, ml remaining in the can. So now what we have to do is we have to start. We have to close the cap and fill the uh, start the bike. So once the bike is started, the oil will start moving into the, all the moving parts. Uh, the camshaft and the pistons and uh, uh, through, uh, transmission so the oil will be flowing through all the parts and uh, then uh, again we have to fill in this 300 uh, ml remaining should be again opened the cap should be again opened and filled so in order to make sure that all the oil is being pushed into the passages we have to start the bike now the bike is on so we need to pump in the oil to all the moving parts and then we will be uh, pouring in the remaining 300 ml of oil. 
as you can see now the level of the oil has come down it went to high and now it is in the middle level after we started the bike and put it in idle for a few minutes and now we have to put in the remaining 300 ml of oil that is yet to be drained that is yet to be filled in now I, now, I, now again we are removing the oil cap and uh, the remaining 300 ml is being filled in order to achieve the high level in the oil. now you can see it is moving up okay, okay. now the remaining 300 ml so totally 400 lit 4 liters of oil has been filled engine oil has been filled so make sure you clean all the parts the contact surfaces has to be cleaned if not uh, there is a chance of corrosion it is done now we are going to put in the oil cap after cleaning it the oil the ring and the cap so it's, it's been it's plastic so make sure that you tighten tight it to the knee to the needle level not max a great job done hi friends don't forget to press the bell icon like share and subscribe and do give a big thumbs up thank you very much for watching my videos